All right, guys, we're going to show you the difference between a Pentstar fan and a 3.8 fan. We now support the Pentstar fan in our swaps. We have full control of it using the GM computer. Mitch here is going to point out some of the points of the 3.8 fan. The 3.8 fan is a DC brushed fan motor, which basically means it's a generator in one direction and a electric motor in the other. Now, in order to get two speeds out of this fan, Chrysler used, as Mitch is pointing to, a voltage divider. And basically all that does is brings the voltage down to about 8 volts through a large resistor to get the fan to run on a low speed. Then, when you need high speed, full system voltage is applied to the DC brush motor and you get full speed. Now this fan puts out about 2600 CFM, maybe 2500 CFM. It is not sealed as you can see, so if you go through mud or debris, uh, you're going to have a hard time with it. This is also a 17 inch fan blade approximately and that's about the largest fan blade that that motor can pull. This is a DC brushed in runner motor. What that means is it has brushes and the inner stator spins not the outer can. That means it has less torque and it can't it can't spin as large of a diameter of a fan blade. In addition it's relatively thick because the design of, of the DC brushed motor. On the other hand the Pentstar fan is flatter, has a 19 inch fan, fan blade, and one of the reasons the Pentstar fan moves air more efficiently is the, the large diameter of that blade, the larger opening in the shroud, as you can see, the majority of the core is open for airflow to go through that core and not blocked by the edges of the shroud. Um, it is a brushless motor, it is electronically speed controlled, ball bearing, and sealed. So water's not going to get into it. This means it's going to run a long time. Uh, the outrunner design puts inherently a lot of torque out, so it can spin that 19 inch blade at low speed efficiently. Another advantage of the variable speed fan is we can run it at a low speed to evacuate heat out of the engine compartment. What this means is, unlike a discrete fan, on off, this fan can move hot air out of the engine compartment at a very low level, let's say 10 or 15 percent. So as the temperature on the engine rises, it doesn't have to work very hard to catch up to it. Where this fan is going to not come on until it hits a predetermined temperature, and when it does come on, it has to work harder to overcome the heat in the engine compartment and then cool the engine off. So there's a lot of efficiencies in this fan. This fan does cost a lot more than this fan. All right, so Mitch, Mitch has it running now at low speed. behaviors of these fans is they start off at a higher speed and then wind down to an idle speed. It's just how they work. So you can see it's just idling now and moving a little bit of air which will keep that engine compartment cool. A lot of heavy duty vehicles and military vehicles use this technology so that you don't build a lot of heat up under the hood before the fan turns on. So now we're going to do a comparison of the airflow. It will not be very precision, but it'll get the point across. This fan, this Outrunner brushless Pentstar fan is about 4,000 CFM. And this early 3.8 fan will move about 25, 2600. So let's, uh, let's start with the 3.8 fan. Turn this one off. Alright Joey, again this isn't very scientific but it's going to get the point across. Now we're running this at 12 volts, the DC brush motor, the more voltage you put into it, it's called KV, the faster it'll run. Now let's make a comparison to the Pentstar fan. We're 
We're running this about 80%. As you see there's a significant difference and you never want to run these variable speed fans at 100% duty cycle because they do put out so much wattage that it will shorten the life of the fan. So we're only running this fan at about 80% of its duty cycle. It's rare you will run this fan at that, at that speed for any amount of time because we're finding that even in the high compression LS3s these fans are only running 30, 40, 50 percent to keep the engines cool, even here in Vegas when it's close to 120 degrees out. So, just wanted to show you a quick glimpse of these fan assemblies. We do support the Pentstar fan now and all the JKs running our swap if you're uh, looking to upgrade. Uh, in addition, we have some, some new radiators also that we'll show in another video. Thanks.